heavenly king, comforter, spirit of truth, everywhere present and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and dwell within us, cleanse us of all stain, and save our souls, O gracious one. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us of our sins. Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, come to us and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Oh, oh, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Come, let us worship our King and God. Come, let us worship Christ, our King and God. Come, let us worship and bow before the only Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord, King and our God. O God, make haste to my rescue, Lord, come to my aid. Let there be shame and confusion on those who seek my life. O let them turn back in confusion to be applied in my arm. Let them retreat covered with shame who jeer at my lot. Let there be rejoicing and gladness for all who seek you. Let them say forever, God is great to love your saving help. As for me, resident poor, come to me, O God. You are my rescue and my help, O Lord, do not be late.
Like Cain, we offer to the Creator of the universe our evil deeds, blemished sacrifices, and our worthless life. Therefore, we shall be condemned. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. You have formed me from clay, O Creator, and you have given me flesh and bones, breath and life. You have created me, O Lord. Now lead me back to you, O my Judge and my Savior. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I confess the sins I have committed before you, O Savior. You see the wounds of my soul and my flesh, for I have fallen beneath the blows of the enemy, which robbed me of my power to think. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Despite my faults, O Savior, I truly know that you are the lover of us all. You chastise those whom you love, and generous is your mercy. You behold my tears, and you hasten to meet me in your bridal. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Trinity, I bow before your unique majesty. Lift from my shoulders the heavy burden brought about by the yoke of my sin. In your goodness, grant me the tears of compunction. Now and ever and forever, amen. O fail to folks, the hope and protection of those who praise you. Lift off the weight, the burden of my sins. Accept me, O most holy lady, for I am transformed by repentance. But, and, oh, Attentive only to outer beauty, 
I have neglected the inner temple fashioned by God. Ah, have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. By my passions, O Savior, I have lost the beauty of your image, but you have sought and found it, as you once did to the lost boy. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I cry out to you, as did the sinful woman, I have sinned. Against you alone have I sinned. Accept my tears, O God, my Savior, as you once accepted mirth. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I cry to you, as did the publican, forgive me, O Savior. For no descendant of Adam has sinned as I have sinned. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I sing your praises, one in three persons, God of all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now and ever and forever, amen. O Theotokos undefiled, virgin alone, worthy of all praise, intercede fervently for our salvation. Make her, O Lord, upon the rock of your commandments, this my wavering heart, for you alone are holy and Lord. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. For me you are the fountain of life, and the one who conquered death, and with all my heart I cry out to you before the end. I have sinned, forgive me and save me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have sinned against you, O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned. There is no sinner whom I have not surpassed by my sins. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have followed the example of those who lived in the time of Noah, and I deserve the same punishment in the flood that engulfed them. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. O my soul, you have imitated the filial disrespect of man, for you have not covered the shame of your neighbor, walking backward so as not to see. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Like God, O my soul, flee from the flames of sin, far from Sodom and Gomorrah, flee from the fire of your evil inclinations. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, O Lord, have mercy on me, such shall be my cry, when you come with your holy angels to judge each of us according to our deeds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Trinity, all worthy of our praise, one God in three persons, save us when faith can bow before your majesty. Now and ever and forever, amen. O marvelous wonder, without seed the Virgin and Mother of God, 
has conceived the Son of the Eternal Father, and you have given birth to him in time. The prophet of your coming to the Lord, and he was afraid. How you were to be born of a virgin, and revealed to them, and he said, I have heard of the report of you, and I was afraid. Glory to your power, O Lord. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Be watchful, O my soul, and strive as did Jacob, so that you may not only be filled with action, but that you may also gain knowledge and the vision of God and radiant contemplation, that pearl of great price. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Jacob was the father of the twelve patriarchs, and thus he proved the mystical ladder of ascent, setting up his sons as so many steps that the most wise might rise up. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Imitating that miserable Esau, O my soul, you have sold the birthright of your original beauty to the deceiver, and thus you have been deprived of the paternal blessing. Henceforth do penance. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Esau was called Edom because of his raging passions, burning with lust and stained with pleasure. He was called Edom, which means the blazing of a soul that is smitten with sin. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. From Job you have learned submission, O my soul, with which he sat upon the ash heap and was justified. But you have not imitated his courage and steadfastness. Perseverance is still lacking in you. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Behold, he now sits naked upon the donkey, he who not long ago was seated upon a throne. This illustrious father of yesteryear now has no home nor children. The ash heap is his palace, and his sores take the place of precious jewels. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I confess the Holy Trinity as God, three persons sharing the same royal throne, indivisible in essence and beyond confusion. My voice resounds with the triple hymn of the angels. Now and ever and forever, amen. You have given birth, O virgin, and you still remain the virgin. For your virginal womb brought forth the one who renewed the laws of nature in himself, for God has willed it so. From the night I seek you, early, O Father of us all, and abide in me, I pray, and I be in your commandments. O teach me, O Savior, to do your will. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. You know the story of Moses, O my soul, 
how he drifted in his cradle as an ark of salvation, thus escaping the bitter execution of Pharaoh's plan. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The midwives were supposed to kill every male offspring of wisdom. You know this, O my soul, and now, like Moses, be nursed on the milk of wisdom. You have not struck the spiritual Egyptian, O my soul, as did the great Moses. How will you be able through repentance to dwell in a desert of passion? Moses dwelt in the desert. Follow the path of his life, O my soul, that you may also contemplate the burning bush of the divine apparition. Picture for yourself, O my soul, the rod of Moses striking the sea and holding back the wall of water. It is the image of the Holy Cross by which you also shall work wonders. Aaron offered God as a pure, Aaron offered God a pure and unadulterated fire. But like you, O oh my soul, Hophni and Phineas brought the impurity of their lives. We glorify you as one God, O Christ, Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, consubstantial divinity, and we unceasingly adore you. From you, O most pure Virgin and Holy Mother of God, the divine Creator of the ages becomes flesh to unite himself intimately to our mortal nature. With my Salvation. 
Explore, O oh my soul, the promised land. Look over your inheritance as did Joshua, and dwell in it by keeping the precepts of the law. I am the indivisible Trinity, one in nature, says the Father, together with the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and forever. Your womb has brought into the world for us a God who is conformed to our humanity, O Theotokos. Beseech the Creator of the world, that through your prayers we may be saved. My soul, my soul, arise, why are you sleeping? The end is drawing near, and you will be confounded. Awake then, and be watchful that Christ our God may spare you. For he is everywhere present and fills all things. We have sinned and we have transgressed. We have done evil in your sight. We have not kept or followed your commandments. But reject us not, O oh God. When the Ark of the Covenant was being carried on a chariot, and the oxen began to slip, Uzzah placed his hand upon the Holy Ark, and with this single gesture, he incurred the wrath of God. Do not imitate his boldness, O my soul, but treat the holy things with respect. You know the story of Absalom and his rebellion against nature, and you know his abominations, even the defiling of his father's bed, and yet you imitate, O oh my soul, his desires and his drives for pleasure. You have enslaved your dignity and your freedom to your body, and you have found in the enemy another Ahithophel, for you have found followed his counsels, but Christ has destroyed them in order to save you. Filled with grace and knowledge, the wondrous Solomon once distanced, him, distanced himself from God by doing evil in his sight. And you, O oh my soul, have modeled yourself after him through your accursed life. Have mercy on me, O oh God, have mercy on me. Swept away by pleasure, he was debased by his passions. The lover of wisdom now courts debauchery, and he distances himself from God, and you have followed his path in the shame of your passions. Have mercy on me, O oh God, have mercy on me. Imitating Rehoboam, who disregarded his father's advice, you have also followed the ancient apostasy of Jeroboam, that evil servant. Imitate him no more, but cry out to the Lord, Have mercy on me, a sinner. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, unique and undivided Trinity, consubstantial unity, light with three rays, one fountain of triple holiness, I praise and glorify you, giver of life and the God of all. We praise you, we bless you, and we bow before you, O Mother of God, for you have given birth to one of the Holy Trinity, 
your Son and your God, opening for us heaven on earth. The cause of Turned into bread, 
He led him on the mountain to show him all the kingdoms of the world. Look with dread upon this sight, O my soul. Be vigilant and praise the Lord at all times. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The dog that dwelled in the wilderness, the voice of one crying in the desert. He is the torch, the precursor of Christ. He preached repentance. Herod and Herodias preached against God. And you, O oh my soul, keep watch, that you do not fall into the net of the wicked. Rather, return to the Lord. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The precursor of the grace of God lived in the desert. Judea and Samaria ran to hear his voice, confessing their sins. They received baptism in joy. You alone, O my soul, have not imitated their conversion. Have mercy on me, O Lord, have mercy on me. Marriage is an honorable estate. And the nuptial bed is without reproach, for Christ has blessed them when he went to the wedding in Cana, clothed in our flesh, and changed the water into wine. This was the first of the miracles he performed to transform you, my soul. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Christ made the paralyzed man walk straight again, and he carried his mat. He raised the dead, the son of the widow of Naim, and the servant of the centurion. Then he revealed himself to the Samaritan woman, and through her, O oh my soul, he taught you to worship in spirit. Have mercy on me, O oh God, have mercy on me. With the hem of his garment, Christ healed the woman with the flow of blood. He cleansed those with leprosy. He gave light to those who were blind and strength to those who were feeble. And by his word, he cured those who were deaf and mute, along with the woman who was bent over. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O consubstantial Trinity, we praise the unity of your persons, glorifying the Father, extolling the Son, and bowing before the Spirit, truly one God, one triple life, and eternal kingdom. Now and ever and forever, Amen. O most holy Theotokos, keep under your protection the Christian people who share your royal power. And through you make them triumphant over the assaults of the enemy and over all temptation. Holy Father Andrew, pray to God for us. O Holy Andrew, shepherd of treat, O Christ, blessed Father, always intercede for those who praise your name. May those who unceasingly honor your memory be delivered from every evil thought, from affliction and from sin. For the search of without sea, not what hither he has the understanding. From a mother who never knew a man, child bearing undefiled, or other of God. Whenever I call him, 
Fear him, do not sin. Ponder on your dead and be still. Make justice your sacrifice and trust in the Lord. What can bring us happiness, many say. We have been silent, O Lord, with the light of your face. You have put into my heart a greater joy than they have from abundance of wheat, wine, and oil. I will lie down in peace, and sleep comes at once. For you, O oh Lord, make me well in safety. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O oh God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O oh God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. God it is with us, understand all you nations, and submit yourselves, for God is with us. Child is born to us, a son is 
given to us, for God is with us. God is with us, understand all you nations, and submit yourself, for God is with us. Upon his shoulder dominion rests, for God is with us. Substance of the Father, through whom all things were made. 
For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and was incarnate in the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. He rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he is coming again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Creator of life, proceeds from the Father. Together with the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He spoke through the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I profess one baptism for the remission of sins. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. O Holy Lady Theotokos, pray for us sinners. O Holy John, prophet, forerunner and Baptist of the Lord, pray for us sinners. All you venerable and God-bearing fathers, bishops, and teachers of the universal church, pray for us sinners. O holy saints, pray for us sinners. With the invisible, ineffable, and divine power of the holy and life-giving cross, O Lord, protect us always. O God, cleanse us sinners and have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. O Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Lord, Jesus, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now, never, and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. O my Lord and Creator, how well you know the weakness of my flesh and the sleepless readiness of my invisible foes. Therefore I come and my spirit into your hands. Shelter me with the wings of your goodness, and that my sleep may not end in death. But enlighten me the eyes of my spirit, full understanding, to delight in your divine words. When the acceptable time arrives, make me glorify you in praise. For you alone are good and love us whole. How awesome, Lord, will the time of judgment be? Then will those that assembled and the book of life is opened in the presence of the thousands of heaven. Then will all my works be known, my thoughts laid bare. My sentence passed, for I was conceived in sin. O Lord, who will save me from unquenchable flames, and who will enlighten me in the darkness, if not you, O Lord? Have mercy on me, for you love us all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Give me tears of sorrow, Lord, as you did for the woman in sin. Count me worthy of washing your feet, for you have saved me from the ways of heaven. May my fragrant ointment 
be a life of blamelessness, being by heaven's repentance, that I too may hear your words, though in peace your faith has saved you. Neither be from blood, guilt, or 
contract spirit, a contract on one heart you will not spurn. In your goodness, O Lord, your favors I have in the world of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, burnt offerings, holy consumed. Then you will be offered young bulls on your altar. O Lord Almighty, God of our fathers Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, and of the righteous descendants, you have made heaven and earth with all their adornments. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Turn not your face away from me. On the day of my affliction, incline your ear to me. On the day when I call upon you, answer me quickly. For my days are vanishing like smoke, my bones burn away like a fire. My heart is withered like the grass, I forget to eat my bread. I cry with all my strength, and my skin clings to my bones. I have become like a pelican in the wilderness, like an owl in desolate places. I lie awake in the high mountains, like some lonely bird on a roof. All day long my foes revile me, those who hate me use my name as a curse. The bread I eat is ashes, my drink is mingled with tears. In your anger, Lord, in your fury, you have lifted me up and thrown me down. My days are like a passing shadow, and I wither away like grass. But you, O Lord, will endure forever, and your name from age to age. You will arise and have mercy on Zion, for this is the time to have mercy. Yes, the appointed time has come. For your servants love their very stone, and I move with pity even for their dust. A nation shall fear the name of the Lord. And all the earth sees your glory. For the Lord shall build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. Then he will turn to the prayers of the helpless. He will not despise their prayers. Let this be written for ages to come that all people yet unborn may praise the Lord. For the Lord came down from his sanctuary on high, from heaven he looked down upon the earth, that he might hear the groans of the prisoners and free those condemned to die. The sons of your servants shall dwell in trouble, and their race shall endure before you. In the name of the Lord may he proclaim his Zion, and his praise in the heart of Jerusalem, when peoples and kingdoms are gathered together, to pay homage to their Lord. He has broken my strength in his course, he has shortened the days of my life. I say to God, do not take me away before my days are complete, you whose days last for an age to live. All the millions found in the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands, they will perish, but you will remain. They will all wear out like a garment. You will change them like clothes that are changed, but you neither change nor have it have an end. O Lord Almighty God of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and of their righteous descendants, you made heaven and earth with all their adornments. You encompass the sea with the word of your command. You clothe the deep and sealed it with your fearful and glorious name. Your presence all things revere and before your power they quake, because the magnificence of your glory is unendurable and irresistible the wrath of your threat against sinners. The kindness of your promise is both immeasurable and inscrutable, for you are the Lord most high, compassionate, long-suffering, and most merciful, offering atonement for the evils of all his people. You, O Lord, in the abundance of your goodness, promise repentance and forgiveness to those who sinned against you. And in the abundance of your compassion, you decree repentance for sinners, that they may be saved. Therefore, O Lord God of the righteous, you appoint forgiveness not for the righteous. Not for Abraham and Isaac and Jacob did not sin against you, but for me a sinner, for I have committed more sins than there are grains of sand in the sea. My transgressions are 
expressions are multiplied, O oh Lord, they are multiplied. I am not worthy to look upon and see the heights of heaven. Because of the hopelessness of my iniquity, being weighed down by so many iron chains, that I cannot raise my head. And there is no release for me, because I have provoked your anger and have done what is evil in your sight. Not doing your will or keeping your commandments, but setting up abominations and multiplying offenses. Now I kneel in my heart to teach in your kindness. I have sinned, O Lord. I have sinned and I acknowledge my transgressions. I pray and thank you. Release me, Lord, release me. Do not destroy me together with my transgressions. Do not keep evil for me in anger forever. Do not condemn me to the depths of the earth, for you are God, the God of repenting, and in me you will show your kindness. For unworthy as I am, you will save me according to the abundance of your mercy. And I will praise you continually all the days of my life. For all the hosts of heaven sing your praise, and yours is the glory forever and ever. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and forever. Amen. Most holy to the mercy of us, Lord, cleanse us of our sins, grant us to be our transgressions. Holy One, come to us and heal our enemies for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and will be heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. Since we have not begun, we Turn off our supplications to you, our Master, our mercy upon us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy on us. For in you we place our hope. Be not exceedingly angry with us, nor mindful of our transgressions, but look upon us even now with mercy, and deliver us from our enemies. For you are our God, and we are your people. And we call upon your name. Now and ever, and forever, amen. Open unto us the doors of mercy, O blessed day of all folks. Let us not perish to place our trust in you. But rather for you be delivered from this fortune, for you are the salvation of all Christians. Lord of mercy, 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 
Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, 
most holy trinity of mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us of our sins, master, forgive all our transgressions. Holy one, come to us and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and ever. Forgive me 
Spotless lady, never touched by flame or corruption or defilement, the bride of the Most High Himself. You brought forth the Word of God into this world in a marvelous and mysterious way, thus uniting you to us and joining our natures to the divine. You are the only hope of those who have no hope, always ready to come to the aid of every Christian who seeks refuge in you. Though I have often defiled myself with all sorts of impurities, thoughts, words, and deeds, Though slothfulness has enslaved me to lust, though I often find myself weighed down by despair and depression, do not despise me. 
As the tale of those, your heart is filled with love and compassion for all mankind. Therefore, pity me in spite of my sinfulness, accept this prayer from these impure lips of mine. Behold, with boldness that only a mother could manifest before your Son and our Lord and our God, to show me his deep and tender mercy. Entreat him not to regard the numberless times I have fallen, but to lead me to true repentance. That as his friend and follower, I may be always conscious of his precepts and ready to observe them. And you, sweet lady, in your graciousness, stay with me. Take my part at all times. Enable me to repel all temptations to achieve my eternal salvation. At the moment of my death, embrace and comfort my sorry soul. Drive off the terrifying specters of the evil one. On that awesome day of judgment, save me from everlasting punishment. Reveal me as a true heir of that ineffable glory which your son has promised to his grace and love. To him, to his eternal Father, and to his all holy, good and life creating spirit, is to all glory, honor, and worship now and ever and forever. As we prepare for bed, O Master, we ask for rest of body and soul, for gentle, peaceful sleep, free of all nightmares and temptations, free of all disturbing dreams. Arrest the assaults of the powers of darkness and calm the interior commotions of mind and body. Fill us with your peace that we may not be overcome by the restless fantasies of our imagination. Make our minds aware and alert, quick to discern right and wrong. Ever ready and able to foster thoughts conducive to spiritual living. When the time for prayer comes, raise us from bed and inspire us with strength and determination. Keep us always conscious of your commandments, aware of how you wish us to live, that we may ever sing your glory, praising, blessing, and extolling that magnificent name of yours, which deserves all honor. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. O oh, most glorious ever virgin, pale to all thoughts, carry our petitions to your Son and our God, and pray to him that through you he may save our souls. The Father and my love, the Son and my refuge, the Holy Spirit and my protector, O oh, Holy Trinity, glory to you. And have mercy on us, O Lord, and mercy on us, since we have no defense. We sinners offer this supplication to you, our Master. Have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy on us, for in you we place our hope. Be not exceedingly angry with us. No one mindful of our transgressions, but look upon us even now with mercy, and deliver us from our enemies. For you are our God, and we are your people. We are the work of your hands, and we call upon your name. Now and ever. Open unto us the doors of mercy, O blessed Pentecost. Let us not perish who place our trust in you, but rather we will be delivered from this fortune. For you are the salvation of all Christians. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We praise your and have mercy. Again, we praise you, O our God, pleasant and gracious, good lover of us all. Protect this city and this holy church in every city, village, and country from violence, earthquake, flood, hail, fire, sword, foreign invasion, and civil war. Be merciful to us and turn away your anger justly directed at us and deliver us from your righteous judgment. And have mercy on us. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Hear us, O God our Savior, hope of the ends of the earth and of those far off at sea. And be merciful to us, O merciful Master, on account of our sin. And have mercy on us. For you are a merciful and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen.
O Master, rich in mercy, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, through the prayers of our most pure Lady, the fair Tocos and ever Virgin Mary, through the power of the precious and life-creating cross, through the protection of the honorable and heavenly angelic powers, through the prayers of the honorable and glorious prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, of the holy, glorious, and illustrious apostles, of our holy fathers, the great hierarchs, and universal teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, of our Holy Father Nicholas the Wonder Worker, Archbishop of Myra in Lycia, of the Holy Equals to the Apostles and Teachers of the Slavs, Cyril and Methodius, of the Holy Equal to the Apostles, the Faithful Great Prince Vladimir, of the Holy Martyr Joseph and Archbishop of Polotsk, of the Blessed, Glorious, and Victorious Martyrs, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, Anthony and Theodosius of the Monastery of the Caves, and of all our venerable and God-bearing fathers, of the holy and just ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all your saints. Make this prayer of your servants acceptable and pleasing, and grant us the remission of all our faults. Shelter us under the shadow of your wings, drive far from us every enemy and adversary, and make our life peaceful. Lord, have mercy on us and on your world, and save our souls, for you are good and love us all. Amen. Good fathers and brothers and sisters, grant me your blessing, and pardon me all of the wrongs that I have done this day, in word or deed or thought, with all my spiritual and bodily faculties. May God us all forgive you, Father, and have mercy on you. Bless us, Father, and forgive us the wrongs we have done this day, and word or deed or thought with each of our spiritual and bodily faculties. Through his grace, may God forgive you also, and may he have mercy on you all. Let us pray for our Holy Father Francis, Pope of Rome. For our civil authorities. For our most brethren and metropolitan William. For our God loving Bishop Mila. For all the bishops of the Catholic Church. For the gracious benefactors of this holy church. For our spiritual fathers and all our brothers and sisters in Christ. May God save them and give them mercy. For the absent and those sent on visitors. For those who are kind to us. May God reward them and have mercy on them. For those who live and now serve in this holy church. May God save them and give them mercy. For those who love or hate us. May God forgive them and show them mercy. For the deliverance of prisoners. May God grant them and have mercy on them. For those who travel by sea. May God direct their journey. For the ill and suffering. May God cure them and show them mercy. For the afflicted and the imprisoned. May God visit them and show them mercy. For all Christians of the true faith. May God save them and give them mercy. For an abundance of the earth's produce. May God increase the fruits of the earth. Let us remember the founders of this holy church. May God remember them and give them peace. Our parents and relatives. May God remember them and give them peace. Our fathers, brothers, and sisters who have. Die. May God remember them and give them peace. Those who die in war. May God remember them and give them peace. For those who strive here in true Christians everywhere. May their memory be eternal. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. O Lord, love us all. Forgive those who hate us and those who have wronged us. Do good to those who do good. Grant to our brothers and sisters and relatives those petitions which are for salvation and life eternal. Visit the sick and grant them healing. Guide those who sail upon the sea, travel those who travel by land or air. Assist our government. To those who have served us and who have been kind to us, grant forgiveness of their sins. Upon those who have asked us unworthy though we be to pray to them, have mercy according to your great goodness. Keep in remembrance, O Lord, our fathers, brothers, and sisters who have fallen asleep before us, and give them rest where the light of your countenance will visit them. Remember, O Lord, our brothers and sisters who are in captivity, and release them from all the troubles that afflict them. Remember, Lord, those who bring gifts and the benefactors of your holy churches, and grant them those petitions which are for salvation and life eternal. Remember also, O Lord, us, your humble and sinful and unworthy servants, and enlighten our minds with the light of your wisdom, and guide us in the way of your commandments. 
Through the prayers of our all pure lady, the fair souls of the ever Virgin Mary, and of all your saints, for you are blessed forever and ever. Christ. Glory to 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 Christ.